Good morning, and thank you for joining us for Space Station Live from the Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. In space, the Expedition 36 crew is at work, and already in the afternoon of their crew day, this is a look at the crew, including its three newest crew members, including NASA astronauts Karen Nyberg and Chris Cassidy, European Space Agency astronaut Luca Parmitano, and Russian cosmonauts Alexander Mersirkin, Fyodor Yurchikin, and Pavel Vinogradov, who is, as the crew commander, is the lead for the overall mission. Karen Nyberg, Luca Parmitano, and Fyodor Yurchikin have been on board less than a week and today are joining the commander for a two-hour-long integrated emergency hardware familiarization session. The rest of the afternoon for the crew includes work by Karen Nyberg on some continued familiarization. This is a standard activity for newly arrived crew members. She'll have an hour or so allocated for that familiarization time, as well as a long session on the advanced resistive exercise device, which is one of three different exercise uh, equipment uh, hardware that they have on board. And then she'll also have a private medical conference. Chris Cassidy is working on the BCAT, or the binary colloid experiment. In that study, the crew sets up the sample images and homogenizes a sample, mixing that, and will be taking manual photos and downlinking those for review by the researchers here on the ground. He'll also be performing voice checkouts to test the ground voice processor setting changes. That's a part of a uh, attempt to improve the voice quality and levels that the crew has been reporting after some of the uh, new system upgrades. He'll also have a one hour long session on the treadmill. European Space Agency astronaut Luca Parmitano will also perform some camera test commands from the ATV or automated transfer vehicle control panel and laptop that's in preparation for the upcoming docking of the ATV to the International Space Station. Earlier this morning, the International Space Station mission management team had approved that cargo craft for its uh, launch and arrival to the space station. Commander Pavel Vinogradov will be working on uh, some of the hardware in the Russian segment as well as some exercise himself on the A-RED, and he'll be joined by Fyodor Chicken, who will be uh, simultaneously exercising on the cycle ergometer known as the SEVIS. They will have their evening DPC, or daily planning conference, scheduled just after 2 p.m. Central Time and off-duty time for their evening meal and personal time. They have a few end-of-day tasks and data collections. Crew sleep is scheduled for 4.30 p.m. Central Time.